Jessica and welcome back to another HIIT workout. This week it's going to be a short video, about 15 to 20 minutes. It's all going to be core. It's only going to be three sets. So if you are ready for that, let's get right into it. Also, I just want to preface this really quickly. My dog is awake, so if you hear him clip clopping throughout this video, I do apologize. Second, once again, I'm not allowed to use music during these videos. So if you want to pump out core with me to use some music, you're gonna to wanna to start that right now. Okay guys, because we're just doing core today, we're just going to do a minute of jumping jacks. So we're going to get started in three, two, one, and let's go. Shoulder blades are coming off of the ground. 
feel free. But really just try and push through and get past your limit. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. One more up, bounce. Up and back down. Really breathe. Focus on where your body is. Keep it up. If it's two more seconds, then you get a break. Five, four, three, two, one. Fifteen second break. We're gonna take this time to let your body breathe and get prepped for your side plank starting in five, four, three, two, one. Now let's go. Reach. Reach. Really breathe here. Try to mainly use your core to twist you. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch to the other side and twist. You can reach through as far as you can, making a motion through your oblique. Keep it up. You're here for five, four, three, two, one, and time. <sighs> nice 15 second break. Really breathe, breathe here. Ready to get right into the plank. You guys got this. We're up in three, two, one. Let's go plank. Really breathe here. Feel the burn. Just trying to work through it. You guys got this. You're already halfway through this plank. Keep it going, keep it going. Holding as still as you can. We're here for three, two, one. Let's get it side to side. Focus on that twist. See it as low as you can go. You're already halfway there. Just keep breathing. You're almost done. Up downs in three, two, one. Let's go. Really watch where you are. Try and hold your hips best as you can. I know you're probably feeling really tired. I know I am. <laughs> you guys got this. Take a nice 15 second break. In five, four, three, two, one. Nice 15 second break. Nice job, you guys. We just have our sides. You guys got this. Really breathe, breathe, breathe. We're up in three, two, one, and let's go. Push yourselves here. You can feel a lot of burning. Really test your limits. You guys got this. Only 10 more seconds here. Four, three, two, one, and let's switch sides and up and down. Four, three, two, one, 
and time. <sighs> nice job, you guys. I know that was really hard for both our abs and our arms. So really take a good amount of time to relax those arms, stretch out whatever you need to, grab a nice cup of water, and we're on to our last set. Okay guys, for our last round, we're gonna do something kind of fun to start off with. So I'm gonna be starting in a nice seated position on the roll. Lift up to the candle. Come back. Lift. Really try not to use your arms at all. So for balance, take your time. Make sure you do not hit your head. As you're rolling back. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. 30 seconds, we're going to be doing leg lowers. Switching directly into, you can either do these with slightly bent legs. These are called single leg V-ups. Straight legs, bent legs, whichever way you feel most comfortable. And then, we're going to go straight into boat hold, and then boat side to side, 30 seconds. All right, you guys, if that sounds good to you, let's get right into our last set. All right, you guys, we are starting with candlestick rolls in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. When you come up, really try to Get up into like that position, that sit position. You're trying to keep your legs up off the ground. Really take your time here. Focus on your positioning over everything else. You're here for three, two, one, and let's go leg lowers. If you would like, you can always. Do both at once if this is too easy. Whichever you feel more comfortable with. We're doing single leg lead ups in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Four seconds here. Three, two, one, and we'll hold. Remember, if you need to, you can put one or both of your feet down. Really free to breathe, breathe here. Fifteen more seconds here. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna shoot fists to the other side.
focus here. You got this. Just breathe, breathe, breathe. You're here for 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Look through the ears. Really take, make any modifications you need. Just keep moving. Don't give up. You're here for three, two, one. Let's go over four. Hold here as best as you can. You guys got this. Just keep breathing. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Let's do a rush of this. If you do put your feet down, try to bring your chest a little further back. Last 15 seconds. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, nice job, you guys. Let's take a second to breathe here. Let me get us right for stretching. That way we can release all these muscles. Really come up into that seal stretch and relax. I apologize. It seems that dog just woke up again. Now we're going to stretch out our legs a little bit. Grab that right leg. Put as close to your bottom as you can. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Really breathe here. Push your hip down into the floor. And switch sides. Now we're gonna come back into that seal stretch. Come into child pose. Let your body really relax for that. Now we're going to come bring our right leg across. Bring it as close to your hand as you can. Really stretch up that week. The closer you can bring it to your hand, the more of a stretch you'll feel in that side of your body. Come up, switch to the other side. This will also stretch out your back. Really stretch out that side of your body. Now I'm going to come onto my knees. Come up, stretch over, and stretch over. <sighs> nice job, you guys. That was a short but fairly difficult ab workout. I know I'm definitely feeling it. But if you guys enjoyed that, I hope you guys continue to come back for the rest of the HIIT workouts that I will be having for this semester. And I hope that this got you off on a good foot for your day, your week, or even your month of October. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again. And I'll see you guys all next week. Bye.